guys, welcome back to our I'm Dayton. Today we're out in the woods looking for some pawpaw trees. All right, so yesterday we were catching up on our YouTube videos that we missed out for the past couple days. And Kevin and Rachel from Hidden Heights Farm are looking for some pawpaws. They've never tried any. So we have probably a couple hundred pawpaw trees growing down in the bottom below our house. So we're going to go down there, check them out, see if we can find them any fruit. to. But before we get started, we need to go check our trail cams, put some new batteries in, and put some new memory cards in. Before we get started today, like and subscribe to our channel. Yeah. Come over here. Open this up. Pull on them tabs right there. They're still good. So right here are some of the pawpaw trees that we have growing all through the woods. See all these? These are all small pawpaws. These are not nearly as big as some of them that we have down by the creek, closer to the wet ground. So we'll go down there and check those ones for any fruits. There you go, right on down. Whew. Well, he came out from that way. <sighs> So it is really hard to show elevation on camera, but if you couldn't tell, especially by how out of breath I am, that is an extremely small. And it doesn't look like it's very big, but it is, I promise. Okay, so looking across the creek right here, right now it's not much of a creek because it is completely dry. Those are all pawpaw trees. All of those down through there. So we're going to go over there and see what we can find. I don't know that there's going to be any fruit left. It is late in the year here for those. But we'll see if we can find any. Daddy, if you find them, can I have one? I just following you. I didn't go up right there. Yep. Just to show you how steep the hill back there was, this part was the same way, and it actually had a big landslide and it all fell in. So, wasn't kidding, those are very steep hills. I used to ride them all the time on my four-wheelers. What are you looking at? They're, they're way back that way. What are they? They're deer tracks. Deer tracks? Yeah. They're way back that way. Yep. They're down here looking for water because it's been so dry. Hey. Buddy, that right there is a big pawpaw. That one? Yep, the big taller one right there. Mm. Do you see any fruits on it? No. They look like, they're kind of like short bananas. And they're green usually in color. I do not. I don't either. So on these trees, these pawpaws, they are already starting to kind of turn yellow for the year. We've been down to right at 40 degrees at night. So either by the look of it so far, the squirrels have gotten the pawpaws or the cold weather has and they've fallen on the ground. And if that's the case, they won't be good to ship over to Oklahoma for them. So we're gonna head back in here into this thicket or this grove of pawpaw trees right here and see what we can find. That's fine.
Head on back, bud. Are these poplar trees? Yep. How tiny are they? Well, some of them are shorter. Those are the younger ones. And then see the ones back there in the back are all taller. Those are the older ones. Yep. Okay, so we've been walking back here through all these pawpaw trees. You can see a bunch over in here behind us. Been walking all through this grove here, and so far we haven't found any pawpaws, not even on the ground. So I'm guessing that the deer and the squirrels have cleaned everything up, like I said. So it looks like this is uh, not going to help out Kevin and Rachel over at Hidden Heights, but we tried. And if they need any more trees, I think we've got plenty to send them. How about that? Unfortunately, no fruits. I wish there was so I could try one. Yeah. Well, next year, we'll try some, okay? We know where to find them, don't we? Out in the woods. There's plenty of them here. Tell me if I get lost. I'm out. So I don't... This is a very rotten tree. I don't know if can hold me. Look, now that stump where it blew over, yeah. animals live down in there. Probably some fox or something live down in there. Look at all these are pawpaws too. Man, we're serious. Yep, these are all pawpaw trees. Is this the pawpaw man? Yep. And then there's a bunch more down in through here. Unfortunately, all the fruit's gone. You can, you can run up that hill. Add boots on. Yeah, I know. Is that poison? So before we climb up this super steep hill again, this is an area all down through here behind me that I want to fence off right up next to the creek and all of this big hill for our goats next year. I don't know if you can see it up there, but we have goat fencing right up there you can kind of see it right along on top of the ridge and i would like to go ahead and bring it down and cover this area all down through here but i need some suggestions how to fence such a steep hill i have no idea how to do it besides just running some cattle panel um, i would like to use four by four field fencing I just don't know if that's possible in this kind of terrain. And if it is, I don't even know how to stretch it. So if you know a way, please leave a comment down below and let us know how to do this and help us out with that. We would greatly appreciate it. I do I have to go up all by myself? I'll record you. Tell me if it's all over. Okay. See? You're yeah. making it just fine, aren't you? I think you got your help with it. Run, 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 run. I'm locking in four-wheel drive, buddy. Go, go, go. I only have four drive, too. There you go. Good job. Whew. Man, that was far. Your daddy's getting too old for this. <sighs> I said go up the short hill. Whew. Maybe we should walk back that way. Now, if we walk back that way, would that lead us to our house? Yeah, there's our house right there. Oh, look, here comes Kaylee. Come on, see this. Hi, KK. All right, let's go check our last trail cams. Okay. So, 
my memory card is missing out of this camera, which means I most likely had somebody who wanted it more than me. Um, we've been having trouble here lately with people coming through our woods here. We do butt up against public land on one side of my family's property, and then the other side is actually a county airport. So we have some people who uh, like to come out and venture through the woods, which is fine until they cross on our property, and then we end up with this where our memory cards get stolen. But Dayton, do you know why I put a camera right here? No. I was watching to make sure they don't steal stuff. That tree right there in front of me? See that big one right there? Yeah. That big tree is a red oak tree. And that big tree right here behind us is another red oak. And then this one right here to the side of us right here, that's another big red oak. So all these red oaks, bud, they drop these acorns like this. And the deer love these things. And so do goats. So... That's why I put the trail cam right here. It's right in between three of those trees. That way, hopefully, we'll get some good pictures of deer back here. Hey, can I feed this to goats? Yep. All right, so we took another walk and uh, ended up finding a few pawpaws right here. Not much, but it's all that we could find out of all of our trees that we have. So Dayton wants to try one, and... The rest of these we're going to go ahead and ship off to Kevin and Rachel over at Hidden Heights. Hopefully they make it. I'm not real sure how that's going to go with the shipping process. Hopefully they end up arriving good and uh, maybe they'll still be good and they like them. So, you ready to try one, bud? Are you going to cut one open? Yep. I just want to see how it looks inside and need it. Looks very nice and juicy, isn't it? Yes. Is that the tasty part? How about you have one side and I have one side? No. Oh. Yeah. It looks gross in this. Let me go get a spoon. Okay, take this spoon. That's so gross. See that? Ready? Cheers. Mm. Pretty good. So, got some big O seeds inside of them. You can see that right there. It's pretty much just a seed. I tried it. You don't like it? <laughs> okay, you don't have to eat it. That's fine. All right, well. Dayton is definitely not a fan. So we'll get these in the mail tomorrow, get them shipped out first thing. And hopefully, Kevin and Rachel, hopefully you get them and they're good. What do you think about it, buddy? Um, just the whole taste I don't like. Just the whole taste you don't yes. like? Okay. Well, that's fine. You don't have to eat them if you don't like them. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you like our videos. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Bye.